The challenge document is available online for you to use and it can be downloaded at jforjustice.net slash challenge or jforjustice.net slash e2 the number two go dot html and can and should be used by everyone who is charged with a victimless fraudulent legislated offence if everyone does that in every court in the land even if they try to ignore it they will be being put on notice when everyone knows and they know that everyone knows then their evil system will collapse and set everyone free from their evil thieving clutches what you need to do to use it is download it from the link above change the word you at the top to your name then sign and date it at the bottom and along with the two exhibits that are also downloadable at the same site file it with the court that has summoned you and give a copy to the prosecutor as well then they the hierarchy enslaving you will know that you know they are operating fraudulently and in order to prevent the public from finding out they will probably drop the charges if they don't then you will need to argue the case in court by challenging the crown and thus the judge's jurisdiction publicly you can get advice on this if you need it from jforjustice.net when enough people are made aware of their fraud and they know that everyone knows they will have to stop and return to God's perfect royal law of liberty that you were given by God through Moses at Sinai to protect you from evil instead of living under their fraudulent oppressive legislation. Every British monarch swears at their coronation to maintain the laws of God to the utmost of his or her power and then does not do so because they want to maintain their unlawful legislation under which they enrich themselves at your expense the last page of the Old Testament Malachi chapter 4 warns you what will happen to you if you don't the choice is yours God's royal perfect laws of liberty are in the Old Testament's first five books, the books of Moses, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers and Deuteronomy. Learn and enforce them to set yourselves free from poverty and oppression and share in the redistribution of the monarch's and her cronies' fraudulently stolen riches. The law the monarch swears to maintain to the utmost of his or her power forbids him or her from using their position for personal gain of any kind and enriching themselves at the expense of others thereby driving them into debt slavery the saudis and other arab so-called royalty do not want muslims to read the bible and keep the covenant because under the covenant law just quoted they too would have to give up and redistribute their obscene wealth. So they have told Muslims that the true Bible no longer exists, which is a lie, attested to by God in the Holy Quran, the Gospel of Unity. Surah 32, Ayat 23. We did indeed aforetime give the book, the Torah, the law, to Moses be then not in doubt of its the torah reaching thee we made it a guide to the children of israel further proof from the holy quran the gospel of unity states surah 3 ayat 64 say o people of the book the bible come to common terms as between us and you that we worship none but god that we associate no partners with him, that we erect not from amongst ourselves lords or kings or queens and patrons other than God. If then they turn back, say ye, bear witness that we at least are true in faith, bowing to God's will. 
So how then can there be Muslim emirs or kings, etc.? I have correctly translated and interpreted the Holy Bible and Quran, also known as the Gospel of Unity, and combined them into the one book that the ruler of the universe always intended them to be, the King of Kings Bible, jartruth.net slash k-o-f-k-a-d dot htm and have added explanatory notes and cross-referenced them with each other to show everyone that there is no reason to fight religious wars but to unite as one brotherhood, reading all of the book and living by only his laws in peace and prosperity. Long live the fighters, for God, good Allah. Mwadi.